Yeah, do you share David's view of at least the U.S. equity market? Yes, I do. I think there's clearly a lot of headwinds, and you've spoken about them uh, at length in, in your show, uh, growing concerns about uh, a recession, the ongoing war in Ukraine, and, and rising inflation and rates. And in that context, it's very difficult for the U.S. in particular, I think, to see anything other than some valuation contraction. Earnings have been good, but valuations are coming down. There's better value, I think, in other markets outside of the U.S. Such as? Well, it's interesting that if you look at the, the S&P, um, you know, it started the year at a multiple of about 21. It's come down now to around 17 times. But if you look at markets elsewhere, the UK is on around 10 and a half times earnings, most of Europe around 12 times, much of Asia around 12 times earnings. These numbers are actually below long run averages. Um, now, some of that, of course, is because of sector differences. But the merit that the U.S. had in a lot of long-duration technology is really where most of the damage is now being done. So we do think there's some value coming back into equities now. And when you look at the most cyclical parts of them in the U.S. and elsewhere, there does seem to be a lot of damage that is priced in in terms of economic prospects now. But I've been reading about, especially, let's say, in Europe and particularly the UK, the economy there deteriorating, and, and I don't want to necessarily use the word rapidly, but perhaps not far off from that. Yeah, I think both the UK and the rest of Europe are skirting recession. Um, the proximity to the supply chain shocks and dangers around the war in Ukraine are obviously that much greater, uh, and they're much more sensitive to the rises in energy prices and food prices. The U.S., of course, is much more self-sufficient. That being said, there is a reasonable easing of fiscal policy that's coming through in Europe, which will offset some of those pressures. Uh, and also worth noting that uh, across Europe and indeed in the U.S., one positive point is that private sector balance sheets are actually quite strong. Households, corporate balance sheets and, of course, banks as well. None of this would stop a recession, but I do think it would limit some of the uh, worst second, third round effects, some of the systemic effects that you often find in recessions in the past.